Hey there, Mars here. This is my channel, We Gay. Welcome back to another episode of Oh my god, I almost said Detroit become human. Fucking A. Another episode of Zen, a gay sequel. Um, so Chris has something to say, and we're nervous. Look at Carlos's face, slash my face. Um, just a little nervous about what Chris, what's going on in Chris's mind right now. So, it could have something to do with Q&A. It could have something to do with next school year or next semester or whatever. Next school year. I don't know. Let's see. We walk back to Chris's room and Chris seems to be in deep thought. Dude, what's wrong? I'm being stupid. What's going on with Tom's hair? <laughs> oh shit, I just realized. Hold on. Oh man. Hold on. I think there was an issue and I need to go back. Fuck. Okay. Um, I am gonna reread this. I've already seen what happens in this scene here. I'm not sure if this got captured. Um, there was, there, yeah, there was an issue with the screen capture just now, so I'm just gonna reread this and hopefully have as, just, just as much enthusiasm I, as I did the first time. We walk back to Chris's room and Chris seems to be in deep thought. Dude, what's wrong? I'm being s stupid. Dude, I'm sure you're not. Are you bothered that Liz asked James instead of you? No, I actually hadn't considered that. Are you saying you want to take over Q&A? I, I don't know, but now that you mention it, it sounds like a thing I could do. You'd be great. Except for leading meetings. Nah, you just need to practice and be a little less shy, dude. But you could totally do it. Chris blushes. Or you could get James to lead them and do all the other, I don't know, paperwork or whatever Liz does. Maybe. Okay, but if that's not, if that's not what, if that's not bothering you, what is? Uh, I don't want to talk about it right now. Okay, is it something I can help with? No, but thanks. Okay, you sure you don't want to get lunch? Yeah, uh, unless you really want to. Dude, I want what you want right now. I think I just want to watch, I think I just want to catch up with Janet while I eat. Okay. I quickly kiss him. I'll see you later then, dude. Come find me if you need anything. Yeah, I might see if games are happening later. I might see you there then. And thanks. I watch Chris walk into his building, wondering if I'm part of whatever's worrying him. I grab a sandwich and eat it on a bench, enjoying the nice weather. Hannah walks up the sidewalk, dragging a suitcase behind her. Dead body. Oh, hi, Marge. Hey, <laughs> how was your trip? Really nice, thank you. It was nice to see my sister again. California, right? That's right. It's actually a little cold here compared to that. I guess the plane trip tried to help me acclimate, though. I know, right? They always keep planes so cold, and I always forget to take a coat or something in my carry-on since it's warm here. Exactly. I should go and pack, but I assume there will be board games in a bit? Maybe I'll see you there? Maybe. Good luck unpacking. She heads back to her room, and I finish up my sandwich and consider my afternoon. Play board games, hang out in computer lab, go for a swim. We're gonna go for a swim. The pool is fairly busy but there's still enough space to swim laps. I spend the afternoon swimming, and before I know it, it's time for dinner. I guess it's time to head back to the house. I need to shower anyway. The house is much busier by the time I get back. I wonder if Tom and Eva are back yet. And now here we are. Tom and Eva are sitting in front of the couch chatting with some brothers, and then that's when I say, what's going on with Tom's hair? Hey bro, hey dude, how's the trip? It was great, bro. We went out drinking every night. Not every night. Most nights. Responsibly. And hit the beach and I almost got Eva to enter a wet t-shirt contest. Eva hits him and shakes her head. Liar. I, comment I, commented to I commented to you that I could probably win one of those and you got all defensive of me like you usually do. I might have been drunk at that point, but anyway, it was nice. It was a nice time. We were just about to go get dinner. You should join us. <clears throat> Excuse me. The food ends up being a bunch of fried finger foods and I grab some fried shrimp, 
chicken strips, and onion rings, and find a table with Tom and Eva. I haven't had a chicken strip in a very long time. I don't eat chicken, I don't eat meat, but just like thinking about how it was like such a common thing for me to eat a chicken strip. I guess I've had veggie ones. But it's not the same. Obviously, it's not the same. But I'm just like thinking about... Never mind. <laughs> the ripping of the flesh when you, when you like, the, just like the crunch of the skin and like the f how the flesh like tears. That sounds really morbid. <laughs> what are you, vegetarian or something? God! So, how are things back here? Pretty uneventful. I went swimming a lot, which is nice. Was nice. I guess the weather comp cooper cooperated, cooperated, compensated. Then, yeah, it's been a warm week. Lee or Ashley walks into the room, spots us, and walks over to our table. Uh, hey, Lee. She sits next to me and smiles. Hey, how was the trip? What is with the music? That what? What does this music mean? It was great. We partied it. Did you hit the beach? Yeah. I miss the beach. It's been a while since I've been to one. Come with us next year. My watch is too tight. Hang on. Okay. Wow. Whoo we Gotta let that wrist breathe a little bit. I'll have to consider that. Thank you. She pats my shoulder. Get the fuck, get the fuck off. <laughs> My sister is on the prowl again and has been talking about you. I guess I wanted to see if I could get to you first. I, um, I'm not interested in hookups at the moment. Why did Tom cross his arms? Okay, offer for a proper date is still on table, but stable then. Table? Stable then. Table then. But no pressure. She kisses my cheek, then disappears from the room. Mars, this isn't my place, but I kind of feel like she deserves to know. And the brothers too. Oh! I will take care of anyone who has a problem with it. Oh! <laughs> anyone who has a problem with it. Who has a problem with it. Who has a problem with it. I know, I just can't. Eva pats my arm. That's a shoulder. I meant to... That's my wrist. Well, when you can. We're here for you all the way. Speak for yourself. Thomas... Whatever, fine. I got you, bro. Whatever, fine. No, sorry. <laughs> that was was that that was like way too mask of me. I need a sip of drink, a sip of water. I mean, wow, that was I kind of scared myself. Sorry about that. I probably scared you too. The rest of dinner is fairly awkward, and I head up to my room afterward. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I censor that? Maybe it's time I considered coming out of the house. Coming out at the house. But in the meantime, back to the grind. Here we go. We are not going to Steve's frat meeting party meeting ever again. Malik works at the student center. Right. Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> Monday. Go to the gym. Wednesday. Go to the gym. Thursday. Go to the gym. I don't really want to play. I don't really want to play board games. Q&A room is always open. My king's out there Wednesday. and Monday and Wednesday. Whoops, hold on. Uh, well, let's just go to class that day. Uh, afternoon. Let's go to Q&A. Uh, let's see. Tuesday. Go to class. Wednesday, go to class. Thursday, go to class. Friday, go to class. So Tuesday afternoon. Oh wait, let's hook up with... Oh wait, we should study. Right? We should study. We'll hook up with Chris then. Uh, go to the gym. Uh, okay, Tuesday afternoon. Wait, when is what's his name at the Q and A room again? Wednesday afternoons. Okay, so we'll go to Q and A there. And then this day, let's go to class, right? How's that look? 
Execute. Execution of all things. I head to my genetics class Monday morning. It's fairly straightforward. I find Mike and Q at Q&A Monday afternoon. We talk a bit about sexuality and being from another country. I go to the gym to f work out on Monday. Malik is there as well. We have a quick conversation. Tuesday is biochem. I force myself to go to class. I attend, I attend my Spanish lit class Tuesday. It's an easy class. I study with Chris on Tuesday Eve. It's not really what I want to be doing, but the company and making out makes it better. I head to my genetics class Wednesday morning. It's fairly straightforward. Find Q&A. Uh, Mike at Q&A. We talk about sexuality. We said that. We did it again. We said we had the same exact conversation. I go to the gym and work out Wednesday evening. Malik is there. To Thursdays, biochem, force myself to go. Chris and I hook up Thursday afternoon, and it's really nice. I go to the gym. Conversation. Genetics class. Straightforward. Gym. Friday. Quiet. Suddenly it's Friday evening. Friday, March 30th. 30th, 30th. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe it's almost April. I should go find Chris. I wait in front of the building for Chris's last class. Hi. Hey, wait. Oh, okay. I was. They're just like so up close right now. I. I was. I thought Chris was gonna be he, like not here, but like in the middle. I. I was just like, wait, where is he? Hey, I don't know why I was doing this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> doing ASL. Hey, we'll see you two later. Everyone else heads off. Hey, uh, so do you have anything to do tonight? Homework or studying or other plans? No. Do you want to go swimming? Dude, I always want to go swimming. If you're sure that's what you want to do. Yeah, it's nice out today. Maybe a swim and then dinner? Sounds perfect. I'll meet you at the pool. Chris meets me at the pool, which is fairly busy, so we tread water for a bit and talk instead of trying to swim laps. Sorry, I shouldn't... I should have realized it'd be busy. Dude, this is great. I'm spending time with you, and we're swimming. Do you want to stay longer? Not if you're thinking dinner. We quickly shower and have dinner at the yard, where we seem to have missed the dinner rush. I take his hand under the table. That's not his hand. This was a really nice evening. Yeah. It's probably time to head back, though. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow for games, or James invited us over again. I'm always up for that, dude. I'll come by in the morning. I head back to my room and watch internet internet videos for a while before heading to bed. Saturday, March 31st. I wake up late Saturday morning from a dream about Chris. I should go see him anyway. We weren't going to talk about what the dream was? Oh, he's wearing a green shirt. The door is slightly ajar and I knock before peeking in. Adam and Chris are sitting at their desks on their computers. Morning, dude. I only see one desk. I give Chris a quick kiss. I give Chris a kiss on and sit on his bed. Good morning. Any plans for the day? Jake was busy this morning, so there aren't any board games. I woke up and started doing homework, and I guess I lost track of time. Dude, only you would enjoy homework that much. We could go to the pool. It's pretty nice out today. I could do that. We'll see you there, dude. Sounds like a plan. Why doesn't he just carry trunks with him at, at all times? Because he always wants to go swimming. The pool is somewhat crowded, but Adam and Chris and I uh, managed to swim a few laps before treading water at the deep end. This was a good suggestion, dude. Chris smiles, steadies himself against the side, and puts a hand on my shoulder. Race you. Bring it on, Chico. Adam and I race a couple of laps. Thought that word said bras for a second. And it's actually fairly close. You're getting faster, Chico. Or you're getting slower. Nope. No way. Chris, are you okay, dude? Sorry. Yeah. It's stupid. Dude, whatever it is, it's not stupid. I'm here for you. I know. I just really... Uh, I, I don't want to talk about it right now. What's he? He's pregnant? Like, what's going on? <laughs> well, I think it's about time I got back to my homework anyway. I'll see you two later. I sit in the edge of the pool and dangle my legs in. Chris sits next to me. Is there something more I should be doing for you, dude? No, no, it's not... It's not you at all. Okay, I won't pry, but I'm always here to listen. I know, thanks. We sit there for a bit. 
I should probably go get some homework done too, but I think there are games this afternoon. Maybe I'll see you there then. Chris heads back to his room and I quickly shower and try to find lunch. I spot Jake and Hannah sitting on a bench, eating what looks like burgers. Jake spots me and I head over. Hi Mars. Hey, come join us. I sit next to them on the bench. Are we gonna investigate and see what's, what they think might be the issue? Burgers is with Chris. Uh, yeah, the fries were something with sauerkraut and mustard and Swiss cheese. I'm not sure if that sounds better or worse than usual. Worse. She picks up her bag. Well, I have to run for now, but maybe I'll see you at games this afternoon, Mars. Yeah. I should get a burger or something. Try the fries too. I get a burger and some fries and sit with Jake while he finishes his second burger. All right, this guy loves to eat. I spot Chris walking our direction. Hey. Hi, I finished the homework I was doing, so I was going to see if you were starting games yet. Chris and I were just finishing up, but Nikhil might have brought the bag. Are you joining us, Mars? Of course. You know how I feel. Ooh, that was very lemony. Hannah and Nikhil are sitting at a table, talking. Hey, did I miss the memo? You're all wearing polo shirts. <laughs> that is true. That is true. It was just a coincidence. It was the top shirt in the stack this morning. I forgot to do laundry last night, so this was clean. And this was clean. Oh! <laughs> polo boys. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hannah starts laughing. Did I miss something? You're not late, man. Just have a seat. I feel like I'm at some business convention or something. Nah, then everyone would be would wear, 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 wearing a suit. Nate looks good in a suit. I mean, Nate rubs his back. Everyone is looking rather dapper today. It was just a coincidence. So, six people, that's... Bonanza. Power grid. D word. C word. D word. D word. I'm glad I didn't bring the four player games today. Actually, I didn't bring Power Grid either since it's big. We start with C word and I spend the rest of the afternoon playing games with them. We get dinner together at the buffet and I head back to my room afterward. I sit at my computer and stare at my IM list. Elliot and Chris seem to be online. Hold on. It says I sit at my computer. I sit at my computer and stare at my IM list. <laughs> I guess I could always masturbate, but I don't really feel the need to at the moment. Talk to Elliot, talk to Chris, masturbate, hang in my hang out in my room, hang around the house. Not hang around the house. Let's hang out in my room. Let's hang around the let's just see what happens if we do the house. I'm not gonna like it. I close the window and I sit back in my chair, not sure if I'm up for conversation with someone right now. I head downstairs to see what's happening in the common room. As I walk in, I feel a pair of arms around my waist. Oh no. Well, look who it is. Ashley hooks her arm around mine and my toe. Ow. Starts feeling my bicep with her other hand. I also just realized that this also pulses, this cursor. Anyways. <laughs> I, um, hi. My sister's been bugging me to talk to you, but I'd rather just fuck you. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, does she know? Um, about what? She stops feeling me up and sighs. So that's a no. No. It's not a no? Um, it's a no. Sorry. I'm I'm not interested right now. Figures. What, uh, has Lee been wanting to talk to me about? She wants me to be more respectful of you if you're actually not interested in hooking up or whatever. Oh, that. I just wanted to feel those muscles of yours one more time. She shrugs and lets me go. Okay, then. If you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Wait! She leaves and I let out a breath I didn't know I'd been holding. I should have told her. Yeah. I mean, it was it was awkward for her to just like 
grab you. My desire for social activity is... Uh, is gone. I head back upstairs and stare at the ceiling for a while before I am able to fall asleep. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sipping. Ooh, that was just... <laughs> I wake up s late Saturday morning finding what... finding that I must have been tossing and turning during the night. I wonder what I was dreaming about. I try to recall the images, but I get... All I get is a bunch of brothers jeering at me in the common room. I wonder if I was dreaming about coming out. I get dressed and head downstairs for what's left of for what's left of breakfast. Looks like a lot. There's still plenty of food left and a bunch of brothers hanging out in the room. Morning, bro. Tom's picking at what looks like the last bits of some French toast on his plate. I pile up a plate of eggs with eggs and sausage and sit next to him. Can I? ask you something what's up i know you're not exactly happy about my uh the fact that you suck c word yeah that i said i'd try to be a good friend bro but i'm not sure i like what you're no no i just what if i wanted to come out to the brothers you thought i was gonna want you thought i was gonna say hey so you know that i'm gay can I, like, suck you off, bro? Like, <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> Tom shrugs. So do it, dude. I don't know why it's such a big deal. Anyway, so don't like, so you don't like P-word. Dude. He shrugs again. Whatever. Do it if you want to. This seemed like a bigger, a much bigger deal to you in the past. Bro, I don't think I'm ever going to understand it. But there are plenty of things in this world I don't understand. Yeah, you're right. It took me a while and a lot of pushing from Eva. But I don't think I should change how I think about you just because I don't understand. We're silent for a bit. <laughs> that, That's actually really nice to hear, dude. Besides, Eva says I should be flattered if you were into me. Uh... I'm not sure how you want me to answer that, dude. Whatever. Go grab some French toast before it's gone to go with those eggs and sausage. It's good today. I thought it said you look good today. <laughs> That's maybe what he was trying to say. I'll do that. And thanks. Whatever. Eat. And then let's go kick some Guitar Hero butt. I eat and we play Guitar Hero together afterward. And Adam and Chris walk into the room. Interesting. Look at... Look at Adam's forearms. Hello? Like that. Ugh. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, bro. It's been a while. It has. Just came by to see what Mars was up to. Sorry, I slept in this morning, and then Tom invited me to play. Lunch, and then a movie? I can always hit the gym as well if you two just want to do something on your own. Of course you're welcome, of course, you're welcome, dude. That sounds nice. You wouldn't mind? Um, let's do something with Adam. I'll see you later, bro. Lunch first? Always. We head to the yard and I and are seated surprisingly quickly. Pineapple jalapeno pizza and a salad? I just bit my tongue. Well, pineapple and half jalapeno and a salad. Look who's being healthy. Jalapenos are already vegetables. So are tomatoes, but I wouldn't say cheese pizza provides a serving of vegetables. A salad sounds good though, Chico. That's fine. We place our order. We make small talk until the food arrives. It's delicious, as always. And we head to the theater afterward. Oh, I think I heard about Meet the Robinsons. It's supposed to be a family film? Chico. Well... Pick something else, then. No, we can see that. Blades of Glory? Wait, who? Hold on. Okay, Adam was the one who said the show. That, that show. Blades of Glory? I'll just, I'll succumb. I'll just, you, whatever. You... You can watch. You want to watch that. We buy our tickets and find seats in the theater. Adam gets us some popcorn and nachos. 
The movie itself is pretty cool for an animated film, although I feel like I would have preferred a live action film. Adam and Chris both seem to really enjoy it. See, that's why. I, I figured they would really like it even if I didn't. So, soon the film ends. Well, I should probably get back to work now. Me too. I might go for a run before dinner. Better now than after dinner. I give Chris a quick kiss. I'll see you two later. <laughs> you like that? Oh, wow. I just realized I've been recording longer than I usually have. Usually do. Um, so I'm going to stop there. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. Um... If you want to see me go more into, into more detail, check out my Patreon. The link is down in the description below. <laughs> um, where I kind of talk a little bit more about what's going on in my life outside of We Gay. Um, tell your friends, tell your foes, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your dog, tell your cat, tell your fish. I have a fish phobia, but you can tell them anyways. Um, yeah. The channel's growing ever so slowly, ever so slowly. Um, so thank you. Thanks for watching as always. And yeah, we're gonna stop it there. Take care now, bye bye then. <laughs> what if I change my outro to that? We'll talk soon. All right, take care now, bye bye then, bye.